Rapunzel's been a dream cosplay of mine since I was a little kid. So I decided if I'm gonna make an entire costume, I might as well go big. Here's the yarn that I ended up buying and here's the pattern that I'm gonna alter. So I started out by taking my measurements. Always double and triple check your measurements because you don't wanna end up like me with a corset that is slightly too tight. And always take notes. I put the link to the tutorial that I followed for the corset in the description because they describe it a lot better than I ever could. It's an amazing tutorial, super straightforward. It's just very time consuming and this clip is actually in seven times speed because of how long it took me. The corset itself only took me a day or two but that's still kind of a long time. Compared to the skirt though, this was the easiest part. Here's me measuring my chain wrong, this is where I messed up. Don't be like me, follow tutorials exactly how they're written. Because a few stitches in the wrong place can make your entire garment the wrong size. Here is where I started my half double crochets. That is what the majority of this project is made out of. And I actually had to learn a new stitch for this project as well, which I will show later. It's super cute. At this point, it was like 2 a.m. As you can tell, I am exhausted. So I picked up again the next day. It was too lazy to film what it looked like at the end of the night. And the next day I started blocking. Here is the new stitch that I learned as well, super cute. I always recommend blocking with steam for acrylic yarn. For some reason, it's always worked better for me than water blocking has. Just be super gentle and don't go too close because it could melt your yarn. Here is me trying it on, realizing it probably won't fit, but it did, don't worry. We're all good. The next afternoon, I ended up making the straps. And later on, I'm adding puff sleeves on top of the straps. The straps just act as a base. I had my mom help me by pinning where the straps should go while the garment was on me, just because it's easier than guessing and having to redo it again later. But the straps are basically double crochets. You can make them as thick or thin as you want. Mine were about four double crochets wide. And I think it turned out super cute. At this point, my hands were hurting so bad that I ended up having to get compression gloves after this project. For the part that acts as the corset lace, I ended up making a giant chain. I don't remember how many chains exactly I used, but it was in the hundreds, trust. Making the lace was my least favorite part. And this clip is also seven times speed, and by the time I was done lacing it up, I felt like I was gonna pass out. It was worth it though. She's looking cute, a little awkward, but we can fix it. And then I made a panel to go under the laces. For the trim, I first did slip stitches all the way around the edges in pink. I made sure to go around both the bottom hem and the neckline. And I was able to do the neckline all in one shot because as you can see, it's all one continuous line. This part is pretty straightforward, relatively easy. Just make sure to watch out for your corners so it doesn't bunch up. I also decided to make a scalloped edge. I made a giant chain long enough to go around the edge and then just did multiple double crochets into each stitch to make it scalloped. And in the end, it looks like a lace trim. And then I just stitched it on with a darning needle and some yarn. And she's looking super cute. The sleeves are a lot of trial and error. I honestly can't really explain exactly how I did it, but I kind of just crocheted around the edge of the armhole. And I did increases every round until it was big enough. And then when I felt like it, I just started doing decreases to make the puff, and this is how it turned out. I kind of used the same concept that you would use for amigurumi stuffed animals. So this is what she looked like when I finished her. She's looking cute. I was really worried that it wasn't gonna fit because of the mistake I had made, but I forgot that crochet stretches, so it's okay. After finishing the top, I decided I needed a little bit of a break, so I decided I was going to make a little Pascal plushie. If I end up wearing this to a convention, I can use it as a prop. It doesn't really look like him, but I thought it would be cute to have something that vaguely resembles a lizard. Here he is. He's kind of misshapen, kind of weird, but oh well. This was the part I was dreading the absolute most. I decided to start with the waistband because that was the part that I knew was gonna go the easiest. It's also the best place to start when you're freehanding a skirt. And I did the waistband by doing half double crochets into back loop only and then 
I started the skirt by just half double crocheting in a circle <laughs> directly into the waistband. I'm not even kidding when I say that I brought this skirt with me everywhere for like two or three weeks. Then I steamed her. As you can see, the stitches are a little different in some places because I alternated double, half double, and triple. And here's a sneak peek from when I tried her on. She's looking really good. I'm so excited. So I decided to make a crown crocheted as well. My final plan for the costume is to make the blonde wig with fairy lights in it. But this is all I had and I didn't even like how it turned out anyway. Oh well. So I didn't get any final pictures yet, but I will at Comic-Con. This is how she's looking and I'm really proud of it. I'll have more pictures this summer.